Chapter 6 Getting Familiar with Hot Linked Modules In this training chapter, we will present how to work with hot linked modules, saving considerable time and management effort on large projects consisting of typical repetitive units. First, we will build a schematic design, an imaginary hotel with two towers using hot linked module design elements. Then we will continue our construction documentation scenario and demonstrate, using the Microsoft Hungry Office building, how you can create, update, and manage hotlinked modules. We will show how you can use modules for design alternatives, and finally, how to combine hotlinked modules with teamwork to create extremely large projects. Step 1. Introduction to hotlinked modules. We will build a hotel using repetitive units, starting from the smallest modules. Hotlinked modules allow you to insert the contents of external ARCHICAD files, sources, into the currently open project, host. Module elements, normally easy to handle smaller design units, inserted into the host, follow all modifications of the source files. Hotlinked ARCHICAD module project files are efficient to use when working on large design projects with repetitive units. Hotlinks are handy when the architectural design project has numerous typical units, rooms, blocks, levels, or entire repetitive building parts. The room unit of the hotel will be displayed in the floor plan viewpoint of the opened Chapter 6 plan file. If you find missing objects, please load the col0601 library.lcf library container file located in the Chapter 6 folder manually. For this, use the Library Manager with the file Libraries and Objects Library Manager menu command. Activate the file External Content Place Hotlinked Module menu command to open the Place Module dialog. The Place Module dialog lets you specify the master layer, orientation, and the elevation of the selected module. You can also mirror the selected module here, if desired. Click the Choose Hotlink button to select the hotlink you wish to place. Click the New Hotlink button in the Choose Hotlink dialog and select From File from the appearing pop-up list. At the bottom of the new Hotlink dialog, set Module File in the File Type field and choose col 060102 bathmod file. Then press the Select button. The Hotlink appears in the list. Press OK in the Choose Hotlink dialog to proceed. Keep all options in the Place Module dialog as they are and specify the Model Unit Module Layer as the master layer for the module. Then click the Place Module button. The Bath Module has been placed at its original location at the upper left corner of the room with a marquee selection around it. To accept this placement, click outside the marquee area. Zoom in to the bath module and check the wall intersections. ARCHICAD supports clean intersections between the walls of the host and hotlinked files. To achieve this result, the affected walls must have the same fill type and their reference lines have to join. Click any element of the module to select the module. As you can see, the selection hotspots of the module elements are rectangular and the elements are grouped together. They cannot be changed in the host file. Use the File Save menu command to save the changes made to the file. Close the file using the File Close menu command.
Now use the file open command. To open the col 060103 level.pln solo project file located in the chapter 6 folder of this guide. You will see a schematic hotel level in the floor plan window preset with staircases, curtain walls, and end walls. Let's now place the previously prepared room on this floor plan with the same module placing method as before. Activate the file, external content, place hotlinked module menu command, click the choose hotlink button, and open the new hotlink dialog by choosing the from file option. In the new hotlink dialog, enable the ARCHICAD solo project file type. Select the previously saved col6.pln file and place it as a hotlink with the default settings. The new room hotlink will be placed left of the core on the bottom side of the floor plan. Let's multiply the placed unit. Click on an empty area of the floor plan window to accept the placement of the new hotlink. Switch to the view map of the navigator and activate it by double clicking the 6.1.1 hotlink multiplication preset view. Make sure that the Suspend Groups toggle is switched off in the standard toolbar and that the arrow tool is active. Then, click the room module you just placed to select it. Right-click and choose the Move Mirror a Copy command from the context menu. Click at the point of label 1.1 then at the point of label 1.2 to define the mirror axis. The room unit is now mirrored, so we have two placed instances of it on the floor plan. Select both rooms, right click, and choose the move, drag a copy command from the context menu. Click at the point of label 2.1, then at the point of label 2.2 .2 to define the starting point and end point of the drag vector. Select the four units and use the mirror a copy command again from the context menu to mirror a copy of them all. Click at the point of label 3.1 then at the point of label 3.2 to define the mirror axis. The left side of the floor plan is complete. Let's mirror these units to the other side. Select all eight modules and again use the mirror a copy command from the context menu. Click at the point of label 4.1 then at the point of label 4.2 to define the mirror axis. We have finished the floor plan of the hotel. Activate the finished hotel level preset view to hide the layer of the help labels. Then use File, Save to save the file for further use and close it using the file close menu command. Open the col 060104tower.pln solo project file. This file contains preset empty stories from the ground floor to the 8th story, and there are some building parts on the 9th and 10th stories which will be part of the tower.
Activate the first story by double-clicking its name in the Navigator project map. We will insert the previously prepared level to this story. Activate the Place Hotlinked Module command and use the hotlink placement method learned in previous steps to choose the COL613 level.pln file as a new hotlink. Click on an empty area of the floor plan window to accept the placement of the hotlink. Let's copy this level to the upper floors up to the 8th story. Make sure that Suspend Groups is switched off. Select the pasted module and press Ctrl plus C or Command plus C on Mac to copy the module to the clipboard. Activate the View, Navigate, Stories, Go Up a Story menu command, and press Ctrl plus V or Command plus V to insert the module in the second story. Click outside the appearing marquee to accept the paste operation or choose OK from the context menu for the same result. Repeat pasting the contents of the level all the way through, up to the eighth story. You can use Shift plus F2 on Windows or the Alt plus F2 on Mac default shortcuts to go up a story. You can also change between the stories in the Navigator Project Map. Switch to the View Map in the Navigator and activate the 6.1.3 Perspective View to see the Hotel Tower in 3D. Save the file and close it with the help of the known file menu commands. Open the col 060105 hotelpln solo project file. We will place the tower in this file with multi-story mode. This means that all stories of the tower file will be inserted in one hotlink to the hotel file. Activate the Place Hotlinked Module command and choose the previously saved COL 060104-tower.pln to place it. After selecting this file, ARCHICAD brings up the Choose Story dialog. Choose All Stories Multi-Story Radio button and press OK. Press OK again in the Choose Hotlink dialog. After you press the Place Module button, a new dialog will come up called Match Stories. Here you can match the stories of the placed hotlink with the stories of the host file. The tower and the hotel files have the same story structure. Select the first story from the drop-down list and press OK to proceed. Right-click and choose OK from the appearing context menu to accept the placement. The model has been placed. Let's see it in 3D. Switch to the view map in the navigator and activate the 6.1.4 perspective view to see the hotel tower in 3D. As you can see, the first tower has been inserted into the hotel master file. You can select the tower in 3D to check that all levels are only one module. Go back to the floor plan by choosing the Go To Floor Plan command from the context menu.
Activate the 6.1.5 mirroring tower preset view. We will create the second tower now by mirroring the first one. Select the tower module and right click and choose the move. Mirror a copy command from the context menu. For mirror axis, click the point of label 1.1, then at the point of label 1.2. Let's switch to the 3D. Activate the 6.1.4 perspective view again to see the entire hotel project with two towers, eight hotel levels, and with many room and bath units. In this training step, you got a picture about the basic concept of the ARCHICAD Hotlink module system. As you experienced, a lot of time can be saved with Hotlinks when dealing with large projects containing repetitive elements. Save and close the project file using the File, Save, and File, Close menu commands. and proceed to the next movie on the ARCHICAD movie player. To start the next step, open the col6-step2.pln ARCHICAD project file. 